guys, Stephanie Tibbetts here, nurse practitioner with Clear Cut Medicine. So today we're gonna to talk about a topic that really isn't discussed a whole lot in your doctor's office, but it's super important in the kidney realm. So we're gonna talk about uric acid levels today. So uric acid is actually a byproduct of protein metabolism. So when you eat proteins like meat, fish, seafood, things like that, it's gonna break into the usable parts called amino acids and the byproducts like uric acid. Now, if you have perfectly functioning kidneys, these kidneys will clear out this uric acid and will uh, actually go into the urine. So, so what happens to where you get a high uric acid level? Well, either you're having issues with eliminating that uric acid through the urine or you're having a buildup of too much and overproduction. So, okay, so I have an, an overproduction or a buildup and it causes a high uric acid level. So why is this such a problem? So high uric acid levels can lead to issues like kidney stones. You would actually have a, a uric acid based kidney stone. The other things that you can have an issue with is gout. Gout is where this uric acid builds up in the joints, crystallizes, and causes an acute inflammatory arthropathy. And those of you that have had gout in the past know what I'm talking about. It's terrible. You don't want it. And lastly, you can actually get kidney disease from this uric acid level being too high, called urate nephropathy. And if it's bad enough, it can actually cause kidney failure. So with these high uric acid levels, what do we do about it? Well, we do treat it with a medicine, but the medicine is labeled for gout. Okay, so if I take this medicine, does it mean that I have gout? Not necessarily. You can take it for any of these disease processes right here. You can take it because of the fact that you have kidney stones. You can take it for gout, or you can take it to prevent this kidney disease or kidney failure in the long run. So it is actually used as a protective mechanism in order to prevent disease progression and to prevent kidney disease in general. Well, that's it for today on our topic of uric acid. If I helped you out in some way, I hope you'll help me out by hitting that subscribe button down below. Thanks so much and have a good day.